The next distribution we are going to discuss when we are talking about continuous distributions is what we refer to as the exponential distribution. Again exponential distribution has a lot of application. Typically exponential distributions are used to model inter arrival times in a queuing system and service times also when we are having queues. Not only queues, wherever you have to model system where you have a sequence of people arriving into any particular system or a, it could be a bank, it could be a hospital, then the inter arrival times between the people who are arriving and the service times typically are modeled using an exponential distribution. So, we are going to spend some time to understand about this exponential distribution. So, a continuous random variable x, so a random variable x is said to be a exponential distribution with parameter lambda. So, x is a random variable, it could measure anything, it could measure the amount of time, but it is said to be a exponential distribution with parameter lambda if its probability density function is given as lambda e to the minus lambda x for x is greater or equal to 0. This is very important, 0 otherwise. So, this is called the parameter of the exponential distribution. So, for different values of the parameter, so if your lambda equal to 1, you see that this f of x just reduces to 1 e to the power of minus 1 x which is e to the minus x. So, for lambda equal to 1, you can see the red curve, it is an exponential curve. For lambda equal to 2, you can see that it is e to the power of minus 2 x which is the blue brown curve and for lambda equal to half, it is half e to the power of minus x by 2 which is the blue curve. So, you can see that depending on what is your parameter, the FD, PDF of this exponential distribution is going to take the different curves. Now, what is the CDF or the cumulative distribution function for the exponential distribution? Recall the CDF probability x is less than or equal to a is nothing but you over the entire range that is minus infinity to a f of x dx. This is how we define for a continuous random variable. So, this for x is less than 0, it is equal to 0. So, this is minus infinity to 0, it is going to be my 0 dx plus 0 to a f of x dx. Now, this term is going to vanish because it is just going to be 0 and it is going to be f of x dx for 0 to a. So, if a is less than so, for any value since x greater than 0, it is going to be f of x is lambda e to the power of x. So, probability x is less than or equal to a is just 0 to a f of x dx provided a is greater or equal to 0. So, now we can see that this probability x is less than or equal to a is 0 to a f of x dx which is the same as 0 to a lambda e to the power of minus lambda x dx. Again I can remove lambda out and I get this is e to the power of minus lambda x by minus lambda x 0 to a minus lambda cancels out which will give me the CDF is nothing but 0 to a lambda e to the power of minus 1 minus e to the power of minus lambda a. 
So, the C D F is 1 by e to the power of minus lambda a. Again for different values of lambda, we know that f of x will always lie between 0 and 1. So, for different values of lambda, you can see that for all below x equal to 0, it is going to be 0 and then all of them taper off at 1 and these are the shapes of the cumulative distribution function. What is the expectation of this random variable? To get the expectation and variance of the exponential distribution, I we will just introduce an expectation of x to the power of n. Expectation of x to the power of n is going to be 0 to infinity x to the power of n into f of x dx which is going to be 0 to infinity x to the power of n into lambda e to the power of minus lambda x dx. I am not going to do the entire working here, but you can check that if you apply integration by parts, we can obtain the following that expectation of x to the power of n is n by lambda into x to the power expectation of x to the power of n minus 1. This I leave it as an exercise to check using the formula expectation of x to the power of n is 0 to infinity x to the power of n f of x dx which is 0 to infinity x to the power of n lambda e to the power of minus lambda x dx use expect integration by parts and check that expectation of x to the power of n is n by lambda expectation of x to the power of n minus 1. I leave it as an exercise. Now, once you accept this entity or this identity, I can verify for n equal to 1 expectation of x to the power of n is nothing but expectation of x which is 1 by lambda expectation of x to the 0, x raised to 0 is 1 and expectation of 1 is 1, I get expectation of x is 1 by lambda. For n equal to 2, I ex have expectation of x square which is equal to expectation of x to the power of n is expectation of x square which is 2 by lambda into expectation of x. I already know expectation of x is 1 by lambda. So, I get expectation of x square is 2 by lambda square. Again, the computational formula for variance of x is expectation of x square minus expectation of x whole square which will give me 2 by lambda square minus 1 by lambda square which is 1 by lambda square. Hence, I have shown that variance of x is 1 by lambda square. So, what does this mean? It tells us that the mean. So, if I have a exponential distribution with parameter lambda, what it tells is the mean of the distribution is just the reciprocal of the parameter 1 by lambda and the variance is the square of the mean. That is what it is an important observation and this property actually helps when you come for application or modeling situations using an exponential distribution. So, let us look at an application of the exponential distribution. When we look at an application of the exponential distribution, let us go to the following problem. So, the exponential distribution arises as a distribution of the amount of time. Again, remember we are measuring time. Suppose the length of a phone call in minutes is an exponential random variable with parameter lambda equal to 0.1. So, if the lambda equal to 0.1, I know the mean is 1 by lambda which is lambda equal to 0.1 which is 1 by 10, 1 by lambda is 1 by 1 by 10 which is 10. 
In other words, I can say that every 10 minutes a phone call comes or it is the mean or an average the distribution of time. If somebody arrives immediately ahead of you at a public telephone booth, what is the probability that you will have to wait for more than 10 minutes? So, I know x is an exponential distribution with lambda equal to 0.1. So, I am going to wait for more than 10 minutes is probability x is greater than 10 and between 10 and 20 minutes is going to be 10 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 20. Let us answer each one of them. Probability x is greater than 10 is same as 1 minus probability x is less than or equal to 10 which is 1 minus f of 10. Recall f of x is 1 minus e to the power of minus lambda x and so this is lambda equal to 0.1 e to the power of minus 0.1 into 10. So, this is 1 minus e to the power of minus 1 and hence I know that probability x is greater than 10 is equal to. So, 1 minus probability x is less than 10. So, it is 1 minus probability f of 10. f of 10 is 1 minus e to the power of minus 1. So, 1 minus f of 10 is going to be e to the power of minus 1 which gives me that probability x is greater than 10 minutes is e to the minus 1 which is approximately about 0.368. Similarly, if I want to know probability of x is between 10 and 20, I know this is going to be f of 20 minus f of 10. Again f of 20 I know is 1 minus e to the power of minus 0.5 into 20, f of 10 is 1 minus e to the power of minus 0.5 into 10, sorry 0.1 into 10. So, this is 0.1, it is not 0.5. So, this is e 1 minus e to the power of minus, so this is 1 minus e to the power of minus 2, minus 1 plus e to the power of minus 1. So, the probability that I have to wait for more than, so the probability I will have to wait for more than between 10 and 20 minutes is equal to e to the power of minus 1 minus e to the power of minus 2 which is approximately 0.233. So, in summary what we have seen so far is we looked at certain continuous distributions and in particular, we looked at the uniform distribution, we looked at a case of a non-uniform distribution, we looked at an example of a triangular distribution, we looked at the PDF, the CDF, the expectation and the variance of an exponential distribution. These are commonly arising continuous distributions. There are many more continuous distributions. For example, the gamma distribution is another important distribution which arises a lot in modeling. But the most important distribution is what we refer to as the normal distribution. So, the next week we are going to spend our time to understand the normal distribution. In particular, we will again start with what is the PDF of a normal distribution, the shape of the normal distribution and how it varies with respect to the parameters of the distribution, the CDF of the normal distribution, the expectation and the variance of a normal distribution. And finally, we are going to spend a lot of time in understanding about applications. Before we go to applications, we will introduce what is a standard normal distribution and then we are going to 
look at how we answer a lot of questions based on the distribution. So, this is the last topic of the course.